I just watched Twisters and had an absolute blast with the movie, so here's my spoiler-free thoughts on the best and worst parts of the film. If you're unaware, the movie follows Kate, who's played by Daisy Edgar Jones, and Tyler, who's played by Glenn Powell, and they're both tornado chasers, but have completely different ways of going about it and reasons for doing it. Because Kate is someone that grew up in Oklahoma chasing tornadoes, doing research about it her entire life, and she wants to find out how to actually stop tornadoes to save all the destruction and deaths that come with tornadoes. But then after a pretty tragic event happens, she ends up moving away until one of her old friends that she used to chase tornadoes with hits her up and says, hey, I have all this new technology that's going to let you do a lot more research and maybe even complete your goal, come back to Oklahoma and help us do this research. Then you have Glenn Powell and his group of friends that do things in their own very unique way. They have a YouTube channel that they live stream their tornado chases on and they're really just going for the thrills most of the time, or at least that's what it seems like on the surface level and Kate really doesn't appear and Kate really just doesn't agree with this. Which brings me to the first positive about this movie. It's both Daisy Edgar Jones and Glenn Powell. I thought they were absolutely incredible as the lead roles in this movie and that kind of conflict between what they're doing in the tornado chasing world really makes for an interesting dynamic between their relationships. Anthony Ramos plays like the third lead in this movie because he's the friend that brings Kate back to Oklahoma and I feel like the movie just kind of honestly forgets about him like he's kind of third wheeling the entire time anyways but he really just has the least to do. I still think he was good in his moments he did have though. I also thought this movie was very funny throughout the entirety of it. A lot of it's due to Glenn Powell's character, Tyler. Like, just a lot of his lines and little things he does were making me laugh out loud the entire time. And there's also some deaths that I'm not sure if they're supposed to be funny, but the people getting sucked up into their tornadoes was actually hilarious. Who knows, maybe I'm just a terrible person, but some of it is just so over-the-top ridiculous, just like the first Twister movie that you just have to give in and laugh. But at the same time, the movie does also know when to take itself pretty serious, and there's some great moments between different characters in this, and we really are a lot more on the ground dealing with the actual people being affected by the tornadoes than the first Twister movie. Like, you get to see a lot of that just real human emotion when you're just one second enjoying your day, and then another second later, a tornado is now touching down, and you have to panic, finding somewhere to stay, worrying about your loved ones. There's also some really heartwarming moments of just disaster relief, and kind of, you know, picking up the debris, passing out food, and caring for the people that were so deeply affected. I thought those moments were actually really well done. The action was also very enjoyable. I think there's more iconic action sequences than just tornado craziness in the first Twister movie, honestly, but there is still some great tornado moments in this too. I'm sorry, things like the cows flying around or driving through the house from the first movie are just kind of too iconic to top, but this did go bigger in different ways. I also want to give credit to the soundtrack. It just perfectly fit this Oklahoma vibe of this movie, and I was vibing to it the entire time. And I think the movie really just strikes a perfect balance between honoring the first Twister movie, having scenes that are almost identical on certain points are just obviously clear nods to it, but also a lot of the different character dynamics and things going on are very unique to this film and give it a very fresh feel. Like, it's definitely a justified movie. It doesn't just feel like a pointless remake or sequel. And I'm all for the summer of Glenn Powell we've been having. He is just absolutely amazing in every movie I've seen him in lately. I really enjoyed this movie. I give it an 8 out of 10. Let me know what you thought of it if you've seen it in the comments below.